Oh. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have come here. It's late. You have to get up tomorrow morning. Now that I'm here, I feel so foolish that I even came over. Well, just tell me what you're worried about. The usual. Frisco. Anna. Look, I know that I have to learn to be a good cop's wife, and I'm trying to go by the code. Mm -hmm. But it is so difficult. And I know that I have to stop worrying about him going on all of these assignments, but this is the first time he's gone on an assignment at nighttime. And besides that, he didn't have on his uniform either. What are you talking about? I, I just want to know, as a friend, could you just tell me if this assignment that Frisco's on, is it dangerous or what? What assignment? Frisco had this special assignment, he had a special meeting that he had to go to, and he was so preoccupied with it all day that I just assumed that it was very important. I, I don't know anything about it. Oh, well, then maybe, maybe that, uh, I don't have anything to worry about, I guess. If, well, if it was dangerous, you'd know about it then, wouldn't you? Wait, did, did he say that he was going on an assignment? Well, no, not in so many words, but he did imply it. Oh, that's odd. I, I mean, I spoke to him earlier today. He didn't say anything about a meeting tonight. You don't think he's doing anything on his own, do you? Oh, I, I don't know. He's probably not out on police work at all. It's probably some personal matter. Well, I can't imagine what. Well, let's not worry until we find out what he's up to, all right? And I don't want Frisco to know that I'm worrying about this. I promised him that I would be the perfect cop's wife, and that means show no emotion. Right. How many times have I done and broken that rule? Well, call that another fold there. I guess this isn't my night again. <laughs> yeah, your night is early. Oh, guys. Right, I'm going. I'll be broke before bedtime. Maybe I'd have just <laughs> called it a night, huh? Come on now. You can't quit now. You had not give Lady Luck a chance. I think she sort of stood me up tonight. Hey, come on. Hang in there. Hang in there. Yeah, last week I was out to rent the groceries, came back, left 200 bucks ahead. You owe me that 50 I spotted you last week. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait till we wrap the night. He may owe you a lot more by then. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> the way I'm playing, I'll bankroll all of you, huh? Why do you think we invited you to sit in? <laughs> yeah, we can spot a patsy a mile away. Yeah, you Thanks. can play poker with us anytime. Uh -huh. <laughs> as long as I keep losing, right? Yeah. Let's take a break. <laughs> Anybody want a beer? Why don't you go help yourselves in the... Will you call for a pizza? Okay. We'll Come on. Something to eat. Maybe that'll help. Yeah. Well, what, what do you want? Same place got real good sandwiches. Would you like that? You see how easy it is to make friends with waterfront guys? Yeah. <laughs> Might as well just stay at home and mailed him a check there, Tuffy. Come on now, come on now. Money is not what this is all about. I mean, you just proved to those guys that you're a regular guy. You're not some high-strung, high-powered cop, okay? You just made friends. Now, that's what this is about. Well, the Academy teaches you public relations, but it doesn't necessarily teach you how to play cards, I don't think, with the locals. Yeah, whatever works. I guess rules were made to be bent a little, huh? I never saw a rule book yet. It covered everything. Sometimes you gotta make up your own. Well, I'm definitely making a new one for cops tonight, huh? Not to worry. Now listen to me. Nobody outside of this room is gonna know about this poker game. All right? Well, I hope not. And with the brass, don't know them, okay? It's all right. Or you. Come on, hang in there, will you? One of these times you're gonna start winning now. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> 